Hello everyone, this is Professor Dan Mashatan. We're going to cover kinematics of machine lab via this video today. Just as a brief introduction, kinematics of machines is a study of relative motion of machine parts. This laboratory is designed to help you guys visualize classic motions and identify different types of kinematics links, pairs, chains, and mechanism. We're going to talk about the lab one first. Lab one is about fundamental of mechanisms. The objective of this lab is to study and analyze the displacement and velocity of different links in the following mechanism. The first mechanism, as you see in the video now, is called crank slider mechanism. This is followed by quick return mechanism then we're going to do a scotch yoke mechanism then we're going to talk about and do the lab about four ball link mechanism and lastly Whitworth quick return mechanism the apparatus that we're going to use for this lab as shown in the video is called KIT slash MM7 this apparatus consists of a printed black plate with two rotating cranks so one here one here a, sl a slotted link a connecting rod and require fasteners to build a mechanism measurement of rotations and movements can be made using printed scales on the back plate so these are the, uh, as you see the rotational angles and these are the linear grid so let's do first part of lab one, 1.1. It's about crank slider mechanism, as you see in the video. The theory is that a crank slider is a common, simple mechanism used to convert rotational motion into reciprocating linear motion. For example, if you're turning this, this point will go linearly. Familiar examples of the piston and crankshaft on the locomotive or in the car engine. A crank is an arm attached to a rotating shaft by which reciprocating motion is conveyed to or received from the shaft. It is used to convert circular motion into reciprocating motion or vice versa. Attached is the end of the crank by the pivot is a rod usually called a connecting rod or coupler so this transparent thing is called coupler the end of the rod is attached to the crank moves in a circular motion while the other end is usually constrained to move in a linear motion this is called is called a slider so lab procedure is next next let me disassemble the setup first so that we assemble them together Okay, so the setup is disassembled now. There is a rotating arm that can rotate 360 and there is a notch here. This notch indicates the angle. So for example, if the notch is at zero, that means it's at zero. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And this is the linear slide. So the procedure says that assemble the crank a slider with a crank length of 60 millimeters and a connecting rod coupler uh, length of 150 millimeters as shown. So let me, uh, let me explain what that means. If you see this, 
the pivoting point of the center is at here and there are indentations here which are 10 millimeters away from each other so there's a 20 from the center to the first 30 40 50 60 so we need to put the uh, length of the uh, crank to 60 millimeters that means that I have to get this which I just disassembled and put it at 60 which is going to be here how do I know that 60 so 0 from here again 20 to the first one 30 40 50 and 60 once I get to 60 I will make sure that it's tightened how do I do the tight tighten it Just tighten it with the hand and make sure that it's hand tight is good enough next is to get the coupler and make sure that the lens that we want is 115 millimeters the center to center of these holes are 10 millimeters that means that if I want 150 I have to go 15 of these centers so what I'm gonna do so first one to second one 10 20 30 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So we are here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just screw this here. And I'm going to bring the slider here and screw the slider here. Just make sure everything is smooth and everything is uh, uh, rigid. What you're going to do, you're just going to turn the crank to zero mark. So this indentation is at zero mark on the protractor and note the linear scale reading so at the zero my apparatus will say I'm at 157 turn the crank in 20 increments noting the linear scale reading until the crank has revolved 360 so let's just start zero here we're gonna go on 20 so notch is at 20 Let's read this. So I help you this time. It's going to say 148. Then 40. You read this here. 60. Read here. 80. Read here. All the way. Note that ha halfway through is going to return. Okay. All the way to zero. So may put those all into the table. One axis is the angles of the crank and the other one is the displacement of uh, slider. The last thing, in your lab report, record the readings of the slider position and the crank angle and uh, do the post-lab calculations. See you for lab two.